Our previous uniform, DPNUs, is being replaced by the Maritime Multicam Pattern Uniform, or MMPU for short. Uh, all Navy personnel will receive an issue of MMPU at some stage. We're anticipating that that will be by the end of this year, with personnel in Darwin and Cairns, as well as WA, having already received their issue. One of the key features of the new uniform is how much lighter and more comfortable it is. It also brings us in line with the other two services, being very similar to the Australian Multicam uniform worn by Army and Air Force's General Duties uniform, therefore allowing us to be more consistent in the joint force. That said, it has some unique Navy features, in particular the grey patterns that you're used to from our previous uniforms, as well as our insignia, rank insignia being at a different position. The design for the new uniform was developed over a number of years and through a number of trials. In concert with Australian Industry and the Capability Acquisition and Sustainment Group, what we found was a company in Wangaratta in Victoria called Bruck, who were able to develop the appropriate uh, cloth for us, and then in concert with Australian Defence Apparel and Workwear Group based in Bendigo and Melbourne respectively, they were able to develop the uniforms for us. That's great for our supply chain resilience and it's also really good for the jobs that we've created for Australians. The uniform itself comes in two versions. The first is the shoreside version that I'm wearing at the moment, and then there's also a flame retardant version. That flame retardant version has a number of unique Navy characteristics to it that allow us to operate at sea, meeting all our work health place safety uh, obligations. ADA had a significant part in the whole design development and production of this new uniform. Defence came to us with, uh, with a, a problem that they had um, to introduce you know, a world-class, world-leading fabric and design for for Navy to meet their operational needs. Design development um, was all done by ADA's in-house team, uh, working closely with CASG. So the garment itself is significantly lighter than uh, what's previously been worn, a lot more comfortable, um, and allowing uh, you know, ship's company officers to, uh, to work more effectively while they're, um, while they're on board. The uniform is manufactured uh, predominantly at ADA's um, facility, manufacturing facility in Bendigo. We've got a team of about 120 staff uh, operating one of Australia's largest manufacturing hubs for, for uniforms. Capability to design, develop, manufacture and deliver. Innovation is fundamental to what we do uh, within ADA. We're always searching for the latest trends, uh, new fabrics, new design. It, it reaffirms our ability and our thinking and the uh, capacity and experience of our teams to deliver you know, world-class products that meet Navy's requirements. We are supplying the fabric that is used for the new uniform for the Navy. So this, this fabric uh, was developed uh, upon receiving a brief from ADA, from CASG that they wanted a world-class innovative solution for the Royal Australian Navy and uh, that's where we came into the picture. This product has been fully developed and manufactured in Australia. That I would say highlights our capability and demonstrates you know, what we are capable of, what we can do. The uniform is lighter than the previous one. It is fully inherent fire retardant fabric and it is more breathable and it has also got the anti-static properties. The fabric is made in rural Victoria in Wangaratta. So we have a fully vertical uh, textile manufacturing plant there. Fully vertical means that barring the yarn which we have to import, we manufacture the fabric wholly in Australia. So the weaving, the processing, the dyeing, the printing, any other special finish that you need, it is all fully done in Victoria. In today's environment, I think it is critical that we retain the sovereign industry capability to manufacture the textiles and the garments in Australia. This helps us sustain the capability there. This provides for the jobs uh, in Wangaratta at our factory. And even more than that, it helps have this multiplier economy. And one job in Wangaratta is creating four more jobs in the local economy. Definitely going back to the lightweight material, sort of the comfort factor is huge compared to the older uniform. You don't feel like you're, you've got an extra weight on you. It's a, a much better uniform, a better look, a lot more comfortable. And being from up north with the patrol boat fleet, we definitely noticed it up there, a lot more comfortable in the humid temperatures. 
The uniform change was necessary to make sure that our people are supported. Our people are the key to our capability and we need to make sure that the uniforms they have are fit for purpose, safe and well-wearing for all the environments that we operate in.